So today, guys, we're going to go over a little small local show, kind of middle of nowhere show. We, I went to a car show, and we picked up quite a stack of some goodness. Let's see what we got from that show today. All right, guys, so today we're doing a little recap video of a local card show that I went to over the weekend, another vlog style type video. I'm still getting, I'm still gonna hang of it. It's not the best, but I'm gonna get better at it and I appreciate you guys bearing with me. But I go to so many shows and so many conventions, I felt that it would be nice to kind of document that process and see if you guys enjoyed it. I'm having a lot of fun with it, just getting to meet people and people always kind of go asking like, what's up with the GoPro or what do you film and kind of get that conversation. So kind of a nice little, people start to only have like one person kind of be like, you're not allowed to film. And I'm like, that was weird, but that was at a different show. So this show was amazing. First time going to the show, it was uh, kind of Northern Indiana, kind of small little nowhere kind of place, but it was an absolute blast. First time going there, I didn't bring enough cash because there were some great deals to be had which we're gonna recap in this video today. So check out that footage, let me know what you guys think.
Ball Pokemon and WWE cards at the show, I was like, I am kind of blown away with a variety of that of what was here. So let's go ahead and see what we picked up here and stack wise, and I'll tell you what the breakdown was, kind of what everything cost. All right, guys. So we'll start everything off with probably my favorite thing that I picked up at the show. There was a massive stack of Pokemon cards that I picked up. I was just walking around the table. I usually like to go to a show and kind of just check out, oh, check out all the tables first. Normally I do that at most kind of, at least small shows where you can actually like walk the whole floor. I like to kind of scope out, see if any kind of like, you can check out the cases or the wall books, things like that. And see if anything like that really I'm interested or usually kind of maybe the harder to find books on the wall or in the cases. Then I kind of circle back and pick out a table and kind of just start digging through there. This show, I circled around there and I just found a table where I'm just like, that's, that's like 40 Pokemon cards. I will, uh, Yes, because, you know, it's always a surprise to me as a Pokemon fan when I come across a sports card show and I'm like, oh, there's Pokemon. Mm, let's go on here. So let's, I'll do a little recap here. There are 41 cards here that I bought. Uh, awesome guy. Lord have mercy. I forgot the name. I apologize. I was trying to repeat their names because I want to remember them. But a huge Griffey fan, so shout out to him. Uh, also, Ken Griffey was one of the best. So we're going to do a little recap here. I bought these 41 Pokemon cards. Also, I bought, like seriously, the most random thing ever. Pokemon cards, and then some 1959 baseball. We'll get into those in just a second, but we'll do a little re quick little recap of the Pokemon. But there's 41 cards here, all vintage goodness that I like, and it was a deal where I just saw them. I'm like, I will just take all of them. So for all the Pokemon cards, I paid 300 for all the cards, which I was ecstatic about, and then the four baseball cards, I paid 80 for those. So, dude was phenomenal, very easy to work with. And then anytime you do like that, it just makes things super easy. But I just told them, like, all right, I will buy all the Pokemon cards. And then what's the best deal if I could buy the lot? Normally, that's usually how you get the best deal. The more you buy, the more you save. So you just walk up, you're like, I will take all the Pokemon cards. And I, and I always, it's always fun to be like, all right, let's add them up. I didn't even, I didn't even do the math, which was... Uh, a mistake on my part, chat. So if you just want to make sure that, like, you, like I was just that excited to see him, and I did kind of preface. I checked out a couple of the cards on the table before I asked about the Pokemon, and wanted to know because he priced them all kind of comparable to eBay. So took him at his word that these were all probably priced recently, and that's a German one, German Jump Pluff. Kind of cool on here. So then I trusted him on the pricing of the cards. And then we'll get to the bottom where I picked out a few cards and I've, I've, re, I've resleeved the ones that needed new uh, penny sleeves and then some, some needed some just new holders. So I put some in some new holders. But I just took the chance and three or four of the cards were accurate. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just get this deal done. I don't want anyone to come over and just take or like want to buy. Like, let me just get the whole thing, call it a day. But yeah, anytime I come across a show to get some sports cards and there's someone who has like a, a hodgepodge pile of some vintage like swirl on Azumarill, beautiful in there a little pile and then here we go the rockets mewtwo has a big crease but it's it was priced accordingly which was phenomenal like i checked that like i actually missed the crease the first go around and when i went back and checked to see what i paid for it and then i saw the crease i'm like no he was he was actually right like even with that crease it still has tremendous value and the cards a couple cards i had to resleeve um, was this beautiful uh, rocket dark Gyarados from the rocket set? I thought this was one. I did actually did not own this one. Most of these cards in the stack that you saw were cards I actually owned when I uh, pre beard this stack. Uh, this was one card I actually didn't ne I never owned with this cool Porygon. This was actually used to be it was sealed inside like a little poly bag, but it was really cool. See that one, Erica's Dragonair. I thought this card was awesome, and then you can't go wrong with any legendary dog. So had this Entei, but yeah, these cards. Or ones that I'm like, okay, these are, I saw it, like, first edition Giovanni. Now, it has a crease on here somewhere. I forgot where I saw it, but first edition Giovanni Gyarados. And then I have a, I don't, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, in great shape, but I do have a Shining Gyarados. So, to stumble across a shiny, like, I saw the Shining Magikarp, and I see, like, the first edition Chansey. And I'm just like, well, yeah, let me just, I'll just take everything. I'll take everything. Beautiful Slow King on here from the Neo sets. Non hollow, uh, hollows are hard to come across, but an e reader Blastoise, can't say no. Then this was one of the acrylic cards, the Charizard. Uh, very cool to find this card. I've never, I never owned any of these top cards when I was a kid, so really cool to pick that one up. This was probably one that was a uh, one I didn't also own as well. We got the Shadowless Red Cheek Pikachu, very cool. And then a card that 
I feel most people uh, don't value as much as I do, but these e-reader expedition sets. Now, this is just a regular uncommon, but these uh, reverse hollows in even uncommons are even more uncommon than you would think. So, very stoked to get that stack of uh, Pokemon Vintage uh, at a card show when you're not expecting it, always a nice surprise. So that was actually the first deal of the day. Was I'm like, I walked up and I'm like, oh, okay, check out your prices, and I'm like, I will take all the Pokemon cards, please, <laughs> as you kind of saw in the video. Then I kind of double checked some other cards, and I was really tempted to get a really awesome game used bat, Griffey, auto uh, sticker, but still auto card, which was stunning, and uh, Isaiah Thomas. Detroit, Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Thomas, On Card Auto. Had a bunch of older 1959 tops. Just had some really great variety and some awesome prices. So, pleasure to work with and hopefully find them again in another show. Do some more deals. But I picked up some 59 baseball. Now, I don't do much baseball, but uh, getting kind of into it. I got a friend at a local shop that's kind of talking to me. And he tells me about all of his like Willie Mays picks up and things like that. I'm like, all right, let me, let me dabble this. So, Al K Line, another Al K Line. And then the Warren Spawn. I just remember Warren Spawn because they used to have like the old like 90s tops. Maybe it was tops or Donovan's. There was like a puzzle that you'd have to put together. And I had a Warren Spawn puzzle when I was a kid. And then the great Sandy Koufax. So some nice older school cards uh, for pickups on there. And I got all three, all four of these uh, for 80. So I couldn't go wrong with 380 uh, for the lot from that individual. So thank you so much for that. Uh, next up, we're going to deal where I just kind of stumbled. Like you said, you're just looking around. Um, so this started out with a, I, I was always a fan of the Memphis Grizzlies with Marc Gasol, Zebo, Mike Connolly, Tony Allen. So like that, I remember that. So uh, he had this Mike Connolly. I was looking for a Jamal Murray auto, but I did pick up a uh, Joker auto. That was cool. But I found this Mike Connolly auto. Not the best autograph in the world, but at the end of the day, I thought it was so cool, and even though it's in the Jazz uniform. But what really sold me on the card is 11. So one off the jersey number. One off the jersey number, the Infinity Revolution. One off jersey number, but still, I thought it was really cool. Mike Connolly Auto, number to 25. Got a good deal on that. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. Yeah. Got f uh, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five card lots that I picked up from another. Another uh, very nice seller there. Gave me great price on this. So this one, two, three, four, five card lot. I paid $230 uh, for the five card lot on here. But yeah, Mike Connolly was a nice little add-on at the very end. And so the uh, main main reason I picked up this lot is that we got the Beast Brock Lesnar uh, select auto. I mean, it's a Brock Lesnar auto. You can't, can't go wrong with the Brock Lesnar auto. Um, and then this was amazing. Brett the Hitman. Like, it says the Hitman on there. I'm like, that's awesome. Brett the Hitman art auto. This one is not numbered, but at the end of the day, it's a Brett the Hitman heart auto. And then Paul Levesque Triple H. Got the Triple H there. And this one was numbered. This one is numbered to 90, 99. So it's it's just a nice low numbered Triple H. I mean, he's going to be the main, he's going to be a main integral part of the company for a long, long time. So getting a Triple H auto, I thought was pretty awesome. Red Hitman and Brock Lesnar. So I think three kind of legends in the business and I wrapped it up. So those are the three reasons why I went there. Picked up a lot. And then the Mike Connolly was the last edition. And then uh, the, one of the greatest third basemen to ever play the game, Fearless, uh, with a cannon of an arm, Brooks Robinson on card auto. Uh, yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, especially for the lot and everything, especially at 2014. So a pretty decent autograph. Where you can kind of see the whole name on there. Pretty centered. Like, it's a good-looking auto. And I was very excited to pick this one up, but yeah, so picked up these five card lot. Like it's so random. Like basketball, three legends wrestling, and then legend baseball player. So 230 on that lot there. Uh, another lot that I picked up. I was looking for some Joker stuff, and obviously he is crushing this year. So Joker stuff is going up. So I stumbled across this dealer. Uh, very nice guy as well. Worked out a deal on this one. He had a Nikola Jokic auto. I realized also too at the end of the day too. Like I picked up a. I picked up a few Revolution cards, which I am not usually uh, hunting for, but at the end of the day, can't beat it when the price is good. So, Nikola Jokic, Denver in the red jersey, which you don't see very often, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this one is not numbered or anything, but still, I thought like a, a, a Joker auto for the for the two card set here. Got the Joker auto. This one is from 2021, so recent recent auto, but still Revolution auto. And I've got I got the I got the rookie the rookie Revolution as well. 
Uh, end up paying 110 for the set here. And the rookie card is, is looking crispy, like almost gradable. So excited to pick up the Jokic rookie on there, plus the auto. So nice little Joker set for 110. And to wrap it up, I uh, got to read a really nice dealer. Uh, also a big a big Cup fan as well. And I told myself that like, oh, he was so nice. Like, Let me find something. So he had something very unique and probably it was it was a uh, it was the least amount I spent in the day, but a card I was very excited to pick up. If you don't know, uh, I was I usually wear my, like I have a pair of shoes called LeBronald Palmers. They're like a colorway inside of the shoes, like a sweet tea. It's like a LeBron kind of paying homage to Arnold Palmer. And I was wearing them at this show, and I, I don't know. I haven't looked into too much, but I stumbled across this card. It's a game used piece of Arnold Palmer. Looks like a sweater. And I saw it, I'm wearing the shoes, and I'm a big fan of Allen and Ginter. I always think Allen and Ginter is a very fun set. It's just kind of like not a lot of non-baseball and get some interesting relics. So I saw this Allen and Ginter, Arnold Palmer, and I'm wearing the LeBron Palmers. I'm just like, all right, I have to get this. I have to pick this up. So this was uh, the last pickup of the day before I walked on out. It was 10 bucks. Guy gave me a good deal on there. I couldn't say no to a Arnold Palmer. This is actually my very first golf card that I own, and I thought it was fitting because I was wearing that shoe. I'm like, ah, it's like fate. I gotta pick up Arnold Palmer. And also, mad respect, absolute legend of a golfer, if I didn't know that. Uh, but that's it today, guys. That's it for the haul. Uh, let me know down in the comments, how do you think I did? And are you guys, go, you guys go to any local shows to pick up any cards and or Pokemon cards? I would love to know. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. I would definitely call it a huge success. And looking forward to have it every month. So I'm like, oh, sweet. All right, I can't wait to go next month and see what kind of weird stuff I could pick up. And there's a lot of people who are looking to do, like, like trades or, like, exchanges. And I just didn't bring really anything. Uh, I didn't bring really anything too amazing with me. So I'll have to make sure to add something to the next pile. Uh, but, guys, thank you guys so much for uh, checking out the video today. I greatly appreciate it. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Bye.